Musik hat eine riesig große Power. Ja? Äh, hat so eine große Power, dass man wirklich über die, die, die Farbe, die Rasse, die Religion, die, die, die Geschlecht, das, das, über das steht die Musik. It went like this. If you sing, if you've ever sung in a choir, you know that this connection um, comes to being without you making any decision about it. You don't have to know anything about the person personally who's standing next to you, whether they have the same hobbies or read the same books or vote for the same political party. If you've stood next to somebody in a choir and sung with them, you, there's a, a bond that gets created. Well, I think it's a bunch of people from all over the world somehow and all the religions. We don't, we are not only Jewish people. We have Christians and we had Muslims and we had everyone here. And that makes it so special because we are learning from each other. We are sharing the music with each other and with, with everyone who is in the audience. Das Wichtige in diesem Chor und das ist mein persönliches Ziel, Menschen unterschiedlichster Herkunft, unterschiedlichster Konfessionen, Weltanschauungen zusammenzubringen, um an einer Sache gemeinsam zu arbeiten. Und das ist das Schöne. We are a completely mixed choir, men and women, Jews and non-Jews, uh, religious people, non-religious people, and we all get on with each other very well. And it's more than friendship, it's really like a family. Es zeigt, dass wenn man ein gemeinsames Interesse hat, es ist völlig egal, woher man kommt und wie alt man ist und wie man aufgewachsen ist und welche Sprache man spricht. Und in unserem Fall ist das die Musik. Im Chor sind Menschen, so viel ich weiß, aus zehn, zwölf verschiedenen Nationen, die hier Mitglieder im Chor sind und singen. Und natürlich Juden und auch Nicht-Juden. Ich kann mich gut erinnern, wir hatten mal, jetzt ist er leider weggegangen aus Österreich, aber wir hatten sogar einen irakischen Kurden im, im Chor, der jüdische Musik gesungen hat. Also der Chor ist für alle offen. You know, if you sing to someone, there's very little chance that you're going to do him any harm. There have always been musicians who have, who have used their music for social causes, but as far as I know, nobody has ever tried to turn it into a, a movement. The real fundamental basis of what Musicians Without Borders does is it speaks to a part of the identity of a human being, which is not based on anything that divides us from each other. Musicians Without Borders was an inspiration, an idea that happened in 1999, um, where those two threads for me came together, those two threads of my life, so music and peacemaking. It began as an inspiration during the, the war in Kosovo, when um, two of the choirs that I was leading were commissioned to do a memorial concert for the um, dead of the Second World War. It's something that happens in the Netherlands every year on the 4th of May. We did a concert of, of songs of, um, of enemies and, and put them next to each other and dedicated it to the, the normal, the ordinary people who want to live in peace, who want to rock their children to sleep and love each other and have community and dance and sing. All the musicians were like, oh, something's happened here. 
And the audience also was absolutely dead silent, and um, the concert lasted about an hour, and absolutely silent. People were weeping in, in the audience, and at the end there was dead silence, and then everybody stood up, and there was a 20-minute ovation. And we went afterwards, and we sat, and we, and, and we were having a glass of wine, and one of my friends who had played drums in the concert said, I'd like to take this concert and put it on a train and send it to Kosovo and stop the war. Wenn jede Person in diese Gesellschaft integriert ist und eine Würde hat, eine Erziehung, eine Ausbildung hat, dann ist dieses Land bedeutet. Musik ist, äh, ist eine alte Form. Ah, zum Versammeln, zum Identifizieren, zu bewegen, Menschen zu bewegen. Und es ist eine positive Form zu leben und zu lieben, die anderen Leute zu kommunizieren und zu solidarisieren. Aktivismus ist ein Prozess äh, von Hinterfragen äh, von, von einer Gesellschaft, die ganz gesund ist und ganz wichtig ist. Das ist die Basis eine Gesellschaft zu verändern in einem positiven Sinn.